This is Bob Kirsting, moderator of the First Congregational Church of Dudley, Massachusetts, a United Church of Christ Church. Welcome to this week's edition of PJ's Puppets, Etc., a virtual worship experience with Pastor John White. Today, we welcome musical guests, Bill Pedersen, Sarah White, and Kristen Noli. Welcome here once again to Worship on YouTube from First Congregational Church of Dudley, United Church of Christ. Welcome here once again. Can you believe it? Here we are, the fourth Sunday of Advent, the 20th of December, 2020. We continue to journey through Advent with the Psalms this week, fill us God with love. But first, just simply thanks for joining us. And as always, look to the end of this video to learn how to contact me by email, how to connect with our church family and our wider church family through their websites. On our church website, you will learn how you can keep this ministry alive by giving of your time and your talent and your financial resources. And please know that you are literally keeping us alive at this time, and I am so grateful to you. Please know, no matter who you are or where you are, along the journey of your life, you are so welcome here. As we gather around the Advent wreath today, we rejoice that Christmas is a time of prayer and of open hearts when we sing songs of joy. Christmas is a time of worship, the moment when the busy of us pause in wonder. Christmas happens when God comes to us in love through Jesus Christ and fills us with love for all humankind. God's love was revealed among us in this way. God sent his only son into the world so that we might live through him. In this is love. Not that we loved God, but that he loved us and sent his Son to be the atoning sacrifice for our sins. Beloved, since God loved us so much, we also ought to love one another. We light this candle to proclaim the coming of the light of God into the world. With this coming of this light, there is love. Such great love helps us to love God and one another. Well, God, we thank you. We thank you that Jesus showed your love for every person. Babies and children, old and young, sick and healthy, strong and weak, rich and poor. Come to us in this Advent season and give us love in our hearts for all people. O oh, come, desire of nations, find all peoples in one heart and mind. With envy, strife, and quarrel cease. Fill the whole world with heaven's peace. in prayer. Dearest God, dear God, oh God, our theme today is love. Perhaps we pause for a moment just to rest our hands over our heart, just to feel the beating of our own heart. To have a sense of of the life which flows through us, dearest God, to be filled with gratitude for the beating of our heart, for the breath that we take in and exhale. 
We thank you, dearest God, for centering us in this time. We thank you, dearest God, for having created us in love, for being love, for encouraging us to new and deeper understandings of love, the fact that we are alive, the fact that we have breath and beating hearts is a gift of the creation, the creative energy of love itself. We are grateful for that. Dearest God, we have examples all around our community, our nation and world of love this Advent more profound perhaps than ever before in the journey of our lives. We thank you for them all. We ask that you increase our awareness of them all during this time of worship now. Hear us now as together we pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us away from temptation. Deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Sunday of Advent, just five days before Christmas, our special word of the day is love. Well, I know that you love all of our puppet characters, yet I must say there's no one I hear more talk about. There's no one I hear you talk more about than Pirate Jack. <laughs> He's a great friend, isn't he? We love him. So, for my final visit with you and one of our puppet friends during 2020, it's great to have Pirate Jack sail into our church and onto YouTube 
one more time. Come along. <laughs> Oh, oh there, oh, PJ! Hey. Ah, come on over, come on hey. over! I was hoping you'd drop by because I want to show you a Christmas gift I made for the captain of this pirate ship. Really, Pirate Jack? Hey, hi there. Good to see you. Hey, you seem to have, really have the Christmas spirit. Oh, yes, PJ! I'm surrounded by the spirits of all those who walk the flag. Oh, ah, not Pirate Jack. Oh, I guess you didn't find that funny. Ah, 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 sorry. Hmm, well... I guess you're working on it. It's okay, Jack. It's okay? Great! Look at what I got the captain! Huh? Oh, oh what? Oh. No trespassing! All others will walk the plank sign! Like it? Ah, 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 ah. Oh, I'm sorry, PJ. It's really hard to break bad habits. Oh, I know, Jack, I know. Uh, you're right, it is. Uh, I forgive you, don't worry, but maybe we'll just put that back there. Oh, I don't know, Jack. You know what? I want to thank you. I want to thank you from the bottom of my heart. Ah, You want to thank old Pirate Jack from the bottom of your heart? What did I do? Well, Pirate Jack, uh, it's been a tough year, a really tough year. You're talking about those rough COVID seas, aren't you? Yes, Pirate Jack, I am. It's been a tough year. Oh, those seas have been rough. Mm -hmm. You get some guy up on the plank, then the sea rises this way and he tips back to the boat. Then the sea rises that way and the guy falls back on the plank. What? Then back on the boat, then back on the plank. <laughs> Oh, PJ, oh. I don't know what's wrong with me today. These COVID seas are getting to me. They're getting to me and the crew. Oh. Even our Christmas parties are getting canceled, PJ. Our Christmas parties are... Oh, uh, I know, Pirate Jack, I know. You know, our reopening task force here at the church decided, because of their love for everyone, to stop in-person worship for a while, too, even on Christmas Eve. No! Say it ain't so, PJ! No! Oh, it is so, Pirate Jack. Yet, by next year, I hope our church is filled to overflowing with people who are filled with more love and more gratitude for the people in their church family and wider community than ever before. I hope they realize that's where our hope is and the hope of peace and of joy and, and that's where the love is too, Pirate Jack, and all of us together welcoming baby Jesus into our lives, helping him grow into the grown-up Jesus who shows us all how to speak and act with love every day. Oh, and Jack, that's what I want to thank you for. Ah, oh yeah. What was it you want to be thanking me for, PJ? I want to thank you for being one of the most important people to our church family and to me during these rough COVID seas. Hey, thanks for sailing in, helping us think how Jesus wants us to live. Hey, thanks for helping us laugh sometimes, too. Oh, you like that pirate who humor, do you, PJ? <laughs> That's great. Hey, did you hear the one about the... Uh, no, no, Jack. Uh, I, I hope that's okay. Not right now. Uh, how about we save some of them for the new year? Oh, good idea. Good <laughs> idea. Because I hope to be someone helpful to our church family and you for years and years to come. When I sail by here to be with you and the children, you'll keep telling me about Jesus' love. And I'll share some pirate stuff with you, too. Stuff like this beautiful song. Yo ho yo ho a pirate's life for me. Oh, oh hey hey Jack, that's great. And hey, that reminds me I have a Christmas gift for you. For me? <laughs> yes, Jack, for you. Hey, I'm gonna get it right now. Let me see. Here it is. Let me read it to you. Yo ho yo ho a pirate's life for me. Oh, PJ, thank you. <laughs> You're bringing tears to me, pirate eyes. Well, pirate eye. When this COVID thing is over, I might even give you a big pirate hug. You'll have to be careful and don't get stuck on me hook, you know. Oh. Uh, 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 Merry Christmas, PJ. And Merry Christmas, Pirate Jack. Merry Christmas. Let's pray. Oh, thank you, God. Thank you for Pirate Jack and all our puppet friends who have helped us in 2020 
and will continue to help us in 2021 to be the very best we can be in love. Thank you for the perfect gift of Jesus, the perfect gift of love this Christmas and always. Amen. Amen. <laughs> and Merry Christmas to you, PJ. Uh, and Merry Christmas to all you kids out there. Angels, we have heard our hearts sweetly singing all the praise, and the mountains in reply echo back their joyous strains. from scripture for this day comes from the book of Psalms, uh, chap Psalm 89, verses 1 to 4, and then 19 to 26. I'm going to read from the New Revised Standard Version. Before I do, just that thought that to think about love for a moment as we begin to settle into this time of focusing on love. You know, love is the glue holding all of life together. Love is the beauty transforming every ugly word or deed. Love offers hope. Love creates. Love forgives. Love binds us as family. And on this fourth Sunday of Advent, as we anticipate once again the birth of Jesus Love grows. So listen to these words from the psalmist who writes, I will sing of your steadfast love, O Lord, forever. With my mouth I will proclaim your faithfulness to all generations. I declare that your steadfast love is established forever. Your faithfulness is as firm as the heavens. You said... I have made a covenant with my chosen one. I have sworn to my servant, David. I will establish your descendants forever and build your throne for all generations. And then you spoke in a vision to your faithful one and said, I have set the crown on one who is mighty. I have exalted one chosen from the people. I have found my servant David, 
With my holy oil I have anointed him. My hand shall always remain with him. My arm also shall strengthen him. The enemy shall not outwit him. The wicked shall not humble him. I will crush his foes before him and strike down those who hate him. My faithfulness and steadfast love shall be with him, and in my name his horn shall be exalted. I will set his hand on the sea and his right hand on the rivers. He shall cry to me, You are my Father, my God, and the rock of my salvation. O God, bless the reading and the hearing of these words, pointing us towards a deeper understanding of you who is love, so that love may transform all of our decisions and all of our actions as they affect ourselves, our families, and every community you have given us to be a part of. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. Well, thanks again for being here today. Thanks for joining us today. Do make sure, um, those of you receiving PJ's Place, my weekly e-newsletter, to read that coming out on Thursdays or Fridays. Uh, do make sure to check out our website, www.uccdudley.org. Uh, and if you're receiving PJ's Place, you'll now also be receiving uh, my podcast uh, on Wednesday mornings. This year, 2020, this year, you heard Pirate Jack and I talking about no in-person worship on Christmas Eve. Now, we are going to have worship on Christmas Eve. We are going to gather together, and there have been so many people who have sent in special music for that YouTube worship. It's going to be wonderful. There may be other surprises along the way on YouTube. Stay tuned. Read PJ's Place. Keep checking out all these resources But in-person worship not going to be held on Christmas Eve. A very difficult vote taken by our reopening task force. God bless them all, the thoughtfulness and care that they put into that, their love for one another. Please be kind to them and kind in how you speak of them, whether you agree or disagree with those decisions. They were made not in fear, but in love. We're going to continue to pause our in-person worship for a time, not having in-person worship on the 27th of December. When I will be on vacation anyway, I am taking a week's vacation, December 25 through January 1. My son Tim you'll be seeing on YouTube, December 27, then on January 3 and 10. uh, I will be back, but there will be uh, many special things on the 3rd and the 10th as well. But all that said, we miss so much this year. This is a difficult year. We miss singing. We miss singing. Who would have ever guessed? How many times have I been talking to our director of music, Kristen Noley, about singing? And who would have ever guessed? that singing would have been considered a dangerous activity. During this pandemic, it is. I wonder as I wander by John Jacob Niles. Here's just the first verse. I wonder as I wander out under the sky how jesus the savior did come for to die for poor people 
like you and like I. I wonder as I wander out under the sky. The song begs the question, how can I be that loved? I want you to know, you are someone wonderful, and God, love, who created you to be love, loves you so much. But maybe you've forgotten the love-filled gift that you are. And so I pray for you to remember that and then to share that gift with others. You know, maybe you need a hug. Seriously, maybe you need a hug. We miss our hugs this year of COVID-19. You know, lately I've been envisioning a worship service in which we all break into spontaneous hugging, right? Who knows? That could happen sometime in 2021. I got a hugging story for you. In 1953, this is true. In 1953 in southern India, in a remote fishing village, a baby girl was born who would later become someone who would try to hug the world. She's known as Ama, an Indian Hindu spiritual leader, guru, and humanitarian who is revered as a hugging saint by her followers. She wondered a lot as she wandered as a child. And then as she grew, she wondered about all the suffering around her. She wondered about people broken in body, mind, and spirit. She wondered about violence and poverty and and inequality, and, and how to bring forgiveness, and healing, and hope, and, and peace, and joy, and love to herself, and to others. And then one day, and then one day, she began hugging people, lots of people, hugging, and hugging, and hugging. Alma first began to embrace the people in her village as a way to ease their suffering. Now, 67 years old, she has literally embraced tens of millions of people. That's amazing. Think about what I just said. She has embraced tens of millions of people. Now, when there's not a global pandemic going on, I'm thinking Amna's Amma is having a difficult time right now. When there's not a global pandemic going on, hugs, respectfully given with permission, can be an incarnational experience, a moment of connection with God in a physical way, this connection of body to body. Yet, what does this mean days before Christmas Eve 2020, before a time of not gathering in person for worship again for a while, albeit with the light of vaccines at the end of the tunnel now, what does it mean? When we approach the babe in the manger, we approach God's love in a human body expressed through the person of Jesus. Since we can't physically hug Jesus, we have been given the gift of one another. Since, God, since God's love lives within our bodies too, yours and mine, as it resides within the collective body of humanity, you and I, you and I, are more than loved. You and I are love. God's love seeks to flow through our human bodies, yours and mine, 
not just through the body. God's love seeks to flow through our human bodies, yours and mine, not just through the body of one baby boy who walked the earth over 2,000 years ago. When we hug, well, that's good. Yet love flows through us in other ways also. So let's keep our internal pathways for loving open in a variety of ways. Now, this year, even without the hugs we crave, it is easy to see God's love working through human bodies. In hospitals across this country with doctors and nurses stretched to the breaking point, I pray for them every day, and I pray you do as well. In hospitals across this country with doctors and nurses stretched to the breaking point, others on staff, not doctors and nurses, including chaplains. I used to be a chaplain. All these other people not used to assisting doctors and nurses are assisting in ways they've never assisted before. Minds and hearts and hands are working together and supporting one another in, in unprecedented ways. These are unprecedented times, you know. I got to tell you, I, I recently saw a t-shirt which said, I look forward to precedented times. Precedented times, not unpre to precedented times. I get that. You too, right? Everything is unprecedented now. And yet, part of what is unprecedented about this time is not only the sad reality of COVID-19 cases and deaths, not only the political divide, economic distress, and racial unrest, no. Part of what is unprecedented are the ways in which people are innovating and rising above all this to be their best selves. Underneath the masks, underneath the hospital gowns, underneath the disinfectant and hand sanitizer, our flesh and blood people who are every day giving way, way more than they ever thought possible for them to give, working together in ways they never imagined themselves, working together, loving in ways they never believed they would be able to love. And this fourth Sunday of Advent, when our word is love, when we anticipate God, perfect love, becoming real in a body, it is important for us to realize it has already happened and is happening. Baby Jesus, now baby Jesus, right, if you're like me, you've got a crash scene at home. And baby Jesus may not yet, quite yet, be in your crush scene. If that is just a formality. Jesus is alive and well and working and living through human bodies right now. That doctor, that nurse, that postal worker, that teacher, that parent, that grandparent, that administrator, that mental health professional, that computer specialist, that food bank worker, that elected leader trying to get something done on behalf of struggling people, that person working in any capacity to show love through whatever it is that they are given to say and they are given to do, this is God. This is love alive and well and incarnate in human bodies. That's how I believe. Our world needs a hug, a song, some rest, healing, and love. The psalmist sings of God's love, which is steadfast, lasts forever, heals, remains, 
strengthens, protects, and holds us close, never giving up on us. So please, I ask you today, don't give up. We'll get through this. We will. Our journey is often difficult, and we are often weary and tired. But just don't give up. Don't give up. And keep loving. When someone offers you some kindness, be it large or small, this is God. This is love. When you offer someone some kindness, be it large or small, this is God. This is love. God incarnate through you. The following words I'll say, Please respond by saying, fill us, God, with love. God, we enter this world as vulnerable babies, totally dependent upon the loving care of others. Fill us, God, with love. In the awkwardness of teen years, we need loving encouragement to know we're okay as we are. Fill us, God, with love. Through confusions and heartaches, first loves and heartbreaks, fill us, God, with love. Through successes and failures, breakthroughs, breakups, and breakdowns, fill us, God, with love. Through the deep grief of mourning a lifetime love, Fill us, God, with love. Through the frustrations and joys of walking with others through their life's journey, fill us, God, with love. When others look to us to know what to say and do, and we're not sure ourselves, fill us, God, with love. When the burdens and burnout of this time fills us with despair, Fill us, God, with love. When we ever consider giving up on ourselves or others, fill us, God, with love. And as we become full of the love you seek to bring us, this fourth Sunday of Advent, dear God, sweet Jesus, Holy Spirit, help us find someone who doesn't yet know the love we've come to know, so we might share it with them. Amen.
fourth Sunday of Advent. Thanks for joining us today when our theme has been love. Love is a good theme for every day though, right? I pray love for you and your family this Advent. I pray that as this candle burns beside me, as the Bible is here, Jesus and the cross and everything in your mind right now about what is going on in the world and the stresses in your own family, your own life. Yet no matter how desperate any moment seems, that you have a deep sense of your being held by love. Even if it's only something in your mind right now, something that you sort of fake it till you make it, that you just tell yourself again and again, I am a child of God born in love until one day I pray you come to believe that deeply in your soul. Join with me now in a time of closing prayer. <clears throat> oh God, year after year after year, we say things like, Love is a verb. Christmas is more than a fuzzy feeling once a year. Listen to these readings from Scripture as if for the first time. With this year, God, it is so easy for us to know the truth of these things we say. It is so easy for us to see love as a verb at work within hospitals, at work with teachers, students, parents, and grandparents, at work with mental health professionals, at work with those feeding the hungry, at work within everyone learning new ways of connecting, at work within houses of worship, at work with those passing legislation to help distressed people. It is so easy for us to feel 
Christmas being so much more than a fuzzy feeling. Because we need that promise of new life now. Because we need that promise of new beginning now. Because we need the justice, the hope and the peace. Because we need the joy and the love. Because we need Jesus living and working within us. Because we need Jesus living and working through us. Because we need Jesus living and working in the world. Because we need Holy Spirit entering our spirit. It is so easy to hear the words of Scripture as if for the first time, as the circumstances of this time are placed upon them, and love is heard between every word, and hope is heard between every word, and peace and joy are heard between every word, and we come to know the comfort and challenge placed on us as we come to know we are those who need to make Jesus real. O oh God, as we get close now to Christmas, to you, help us know and feel and be your love. Amen. So again, God bless you and God keep you. Holy Spirit, center you. Jesus, love you. Know that you are loved as we pray. Fill us, God with love. Amen.